Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Zatu here. Now, this card has gotten a lot of hype because of the attack Life Drain. Flip a coin of heads, put damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon until its remaining HP is 10. So the whole idea here is if we use Life Drain with Will, we guarantee heads, which will automatically put a Tag Team Pokemon 10 HP. And if we play a Shrine of Punishment down, we insta-KO a Tag Team Pokemon with Life Drain. That is the whole idea of this deck and it has gained quite a attention now i didn't really know how to build that dude in all honesty i know the most obvious way would be with malamar and giratina like that's so boring though who like seriously that's like that's boring not cool so i was like why don't we play it as more of a toolbox deck so i'm playing spirit tomb as like your backup attacker but i also have nine tails in here to help us out too to get the pieces we need one of the issues with that too it doesn't need a lot of cards to work you need the shrine you do need the will in your hand too you need two energies on it it's a little clunky so using stuff like counter gain and stadium nav help us get there a lot easier and mysterious guidance can help us get there so yeah before we get in the video of course show to our sponsor car and tcg guys is always if you're ever in any need of any pdcgo coach if you're trying to still get yourself cosmic clips coach while it is still pretty hot on the market right now on pdcgo and they you know still have some value to them you can get cards for cheaper than what they're normally worth get them over at car cavern tcg and of course you can get all the other pdcgo code goodness stuff like sleeve codes pokemon gx codes like trevnor or mu3 codes are all over at car cavern tcg if you get anything from car cavern make sure to use code ldf at the checkout get yourself a five percent discount in your order uh, support the channel, help yourself out, help out Karkavan, win for everyone. So yeah, shout out to our sponsor. So now let's look at our list here. So so I've kind of just built this more as like, I mean, it's still very Zatu focused. Now this deck is mainly just built to take out uh, tag team decks, obviously. I don't really think this deck stands a chance against stuff like Malamar. Malamar is kind of like an auto loss, I would say, for this deck. Um, but that's like pretty much the case for a lot of decks right now, right? So this deck takes out tag teams. That's the whole idea of Zatu. Just destroys tag team pokemon that'll probably be the title of the video um zatu again needs a lot of pieces to work if life drain was like super fang on radicate this card would be a lot better the fact that we have to play will means we have to have will in our hand which means we'd have to put something like jirachi to help us out get there um also another issue is you have to guarantee the shrine a lot of the time to kill them unless you play lieutenant surge koga will which is kind of stupid so we have to play marshad are actually going to be playing two of them because if they chaotic swell you you can't play shrine down and then they're gonna be able to put 10 hp and then they malo and lana and then you cry so we have to play at least two marsh shadows to guarantee us the uh shrine play and again i've gone with spirit tomb for backup attacker just it gives us a fighting chance and a lot of the time really it's kind of hard to do two zatus per game especially if you get stamped um at least with spirit tomb you have a fighting chance you can just use building spite and then you can come in with a late game anguish cry that's kind of the idea behind the Spirit Tomb Backup Attacker. We don't actually play Hustle Belt in here, which I guess is something you should add, but there's so many cards we have to play in here. Like, we need to play the Four Will to guarantee, but at the same time, we have to play a Draw Supporter Engine, so it's a bit of a clunky deck. Um, like, I guess, like, the Malamar build is ar arguably the better play, but, like, I still think, like, Zatu can work with Counter Gain. The fact that it needs two energy is not good, but we can change that with Counter Gain. Uh, we can just put one energy on it, Counter Gain it with Nine Tails, and then Life Drain. That works just as well, and we can also save our energy attachment for something else. And again, the Night Tails is so useful. Mysterious Guidance, such a cool ability. Uh, it's actually kind of an underrated ability right now in this format, if I'm being honest with you. Um, it's such a good ability to just guarantee us stuff like Stadium Nav or Counter Gain. It's just really good in here, in my opinion. Um, or Great Catcher in the late game. We're just going to try it out and see how it works. I am playing a Fion for Whirlpool Suction. If their only bench Pokemon is a Tag Team Pokemon... We can just force them into it, and then we can Zatu, Zatu knock them out. Uh, of course, we got Drachi, Ditto in the deck. Just obvious stuff. Uh, going to the items now, we got two Great Catchers to bring stuff up. Three Treasures. I would play four, <laughs> especially because of all the Psychic Pokemon. I can't find room for four. We still have to play four Pokecom to guarantee us Drachis and stuff like that. I am playing a Reset Stamp. It's still important to have this card, though. It's something I guess you can take out. It's not going to help you in the long run against with Zatu, but it's still good to have. Uh, Stadium Nav, again, just guaranteeing us a Shine of Punishment. Very good. I am playing a Switch, of course, for Drachi. I am playing a heavy kind of Drachi, because it's fine. You start with Drachi, you, you know, use Drachi to get into a good hand. Drachi gets knocked out, activate counter gain, go from there. Um, we got four Shrine, of course. Four Cynthia, three Lily, one Caitlyn Cynthia. This is still good to get Will back. And I would play four Lilies, but can't find room for the fourth. I guess, like, you could cut a will. You don't have to play three will if you really don't want to, but having four just guarantees that will will be. You can see what I did there in our hand. Uh, I've gone with two counter gains for Zatu. Two escape boards. Uh, energy, three psychic. 
Uh, I'm playing one unit because you can at least attack with nine tails. If you're up against like a ultra beast deck, you have a free KO with sublimation and uh, four rainbow energies for like the spirit tomb. But I guess like we already have like the unit, but at the same like you can use that. But you, the rainbow energies are good. You can even use stuff like rain splash if you're super super desperate for getting ten damage on the board. So it's just cool things you can do there. Um, but yeah, it's my Zatu deck here. Again, I didn't really know how to build this card efficiently. I am going to try out a Zatu Stinger Naganadal deck. That'll be kind of fun to play. Zatu Checkmate might be a cool deck to make a video on very soon. So that'll probably come for Crazy Combo at some point in the future. So keep your eyes out for that. Let's go get some games with this Zatu deck and see if Zatu can take out a Taking Pokemon with Life Drain. Okay, guys, here we go. We are going to try out our Zatu Spirit Tomb uh, type of deck here. And I am interested to see if this deck will win us a game. Obviously, this deck ain't perfect. We are, it looks like, up against Mewtwo from the looks of the types. Okay. So, obviously, Cross Division is a bit of an issue for this deck, for sure. Like, I just don't think this deck will ever beat Malamar. You're never going to beat Malamar this deck. You just have to accept Malamar ain't going to happen. You're not going to beat it unless we play... Nagana Del Zatu, which is something that I'm most likely going to do in the future for a crazy combo video. And okay, there's the first tag team of the game. So all we have to do is just take out two tag teams, we win the game. That's our goal with this deck. And uh, we don't know if they're playing Mewtwo or if they're playing Zard. It looks like they are indeed playing Mewtwo. This matchup is going to be tough because of that cross division shenanigans. That GX attack is just too good. It's going to be hard to beat that. Uh, we didn't really get a bad starting hand here. We can definitely go Lily. We can get quite a bit going. We can also Viridian for an energy on Natu. We got to hope they're not playing customs. That is kind of one of the things I like about the Zatu deck. Is without custom catchers being as relevant. And only one energy on the Zard. That's pretty good. Is that a type null? It is. Okay, now I definitely feel safe here. Uh, there's a Will. I think I'm going to get rid of the rainbow energy because I can always Viridian here. I want to guarantee the Nat 2. I think we're going to Viridian away one great catcher. It's a little risky, but I'm assuming my opponent doesn't play many non-GXs, so I don't really care if I'm down one great catcher. I just need to get energy on Nat 2 and we're Gucci. There's a Vulpix. I think I'll put that down too. We actually do have a pretty good hand here. All we need to do is draw and do a Shrine. Assuming they knock me out, we can draw and do a Shrine of Punishment. We can Stadium Nav, though, so we should actually get a knockout here. Well, I guess we also have to drop Pokemon to get Zat. No, we can always... Yeah, no, we can get Stadium Nav and Treasure. Or Counter Gain, depending on how this hand goes. Fortunately, they do play Customs in their deck. That is very frustrating, but they are down one. So they only have one Custom Catcher left to use, which is a little fine. And again, with Counter Gain, it's not too hard to fall behind and then just swing right back with the Counter Gain. That's why I like having the counter gain in the deck. A little annoying they play customs though. Custom, it just seems like such a dated card to play right now in Mewtwo. But whatever, to each his own. Some people can't afford a great catcher right now because it's kind of expensive. Will they get two energies on? Because they can flare strike me. No, they're not. They might get up a settle with a double blaze, which fine by me. They, we don't have to worry about cross division. There's the Mewtwo's. There's our two targets. Mewtwo and Reshizard. There is that Dene. We'll see if they go for a double blaze. Hopefully they do. Because then we know the way we're cross vision, and that makes this game a lot easier to win. And no, they actually just outraged me for 30. Okay. There's a spirit tomb. So we it would have worked out perfectly if he knocked me out. Assuming we got stadium nav heads, or assuming it's even in the deck. Um, I think I'm going to get another Natu, though. I think that's actually pretty relevant. Sorry, Spirit Tomb. But if we double down on Natus here, we should be good. We can also hit him with a Fion. There's no point, though. I think I want to make sure I have a couple Natus in play here. And, uh, we can Lily for two. Why not? There's Shrine. There's another Rainbow. That's good. We'll just pass. We'll just make it look like we have a bad hand. We'll let him knock me out. We'll Nine Tails for the counter gain. And we'll uh, knock out this Reshizard, hopefully. Unless they go with a Silvali attack. We have Great Catcher, though. I don't know. We, we don't really have, like, the greatest hand of Great Catcher away, though. We have a lot of important items and stuff in our hand. So I don't really think it's worth it to play Great Catcher. And there is that SVDO. 
could not go both Natus. Actually, no, I can't. Never mind. The Rainbow Energy did put us below 50, but still we'll survive. He could knock out Marsh out of a Natu. Which I hope doesn't happen. He could knock out Vulpix and Natu. I know he can't. Vulpix is safe. Plus, we have that amazing ability for defense damage. I guess it doesn't matter. He does have a Welder on the Mewtwo. That does mean he can go for a Cross Vision here. Looks like he might. I hope he doesn't. I want both Natus to stay alive. But due to the toxicity of that card, he's going to go for it. If he knocks out Marshadow, though, we can still knock out the Mewtwo, which is good. It is pretty frustrating, though, that he is going to hit me here with a Cross Division, but at least he's not doing 200 damage. That would be absolutely brutal. That would be brutal if he was doing a 200 damage Cross Division here. But, I mean, we can always finish the game off with Spirit Tomb at some point, so it's not the end of the world. And he's actually going to Tag Purge me, which is perfect. So we will indeed get a knockout on Mewtwo here. I think we just bring in the one with the rainbow. Okay, let's see what we draw. Oh my, wow, that was a perfect. We don't even have to play the Nine Tails here. We could just go Evolve. Nah, we'll still play. We'll get the counter game. We don't really care if Nine Tails is in play. We'll get that. We'll get a counter gain. Stamp him to five. I don't hate that either. Wish I do wish I had a Pokemon here. I do want to get a Jirachi in play because we're gonna get knocked out here. But we can't. I think I just go for Stamp and Counter Gain. Stamp him to a low hand size. Attached to Nine Tails. Sure. As long as we have that Counter Gain. This is why the Counter Gain is so good with that too. We'll uh, stamp him to five. It's not the most relevant reset stamp, but I think it's fine. We can potentially make him have to double blaze me. We'll play Will. So we can build up Nine, but Nine Tails isn't even that relevant. He doesn't really play any Ultra Beasts. I think we'll just build up a Nat too. And Life Drain, which will indeed guarantee a knockout here thanks to shrine this is why i like nine tails so we didn't really use it for the most relevant reason ever but we still had like the perfect combo there and all we have to do is take this out and win the game we'll take three prizes another shrine skateboard right, if only we got the exodia pieces to just ko this thing right, well i say exodia but you know what i mean if we get the wills at to we guarantee the win here that's why I did want to get a draw team play, just in case we needed to find Will. But I don't really know if my opponent can do much at this point. I mean, we do have this thing as a liability in play, but we just knocked out their most important card. They can't get another Mewtwo in play, though. They are going to get a Marshadow here, which I am totally fine with. We don't really care if they get rid of Viridian, or the, the Shrine. We have another one. We have four in the deck. Oh, and they stamp me to three. That's pretty annoying. Yeah, it's pretty bad. We're going to have to retreat into probably Ditto. Yeah, I guess we didn't need to stamp him because of this thing. But you know what? It's still good to burn that card. Because I wouldn't even want to draw a reset stamp here. Okay, this might actually be a little hard to come back from, guys. I'm not going to lie. This might actually be a pretty hard comeback. Um, if we can draw, like, a Cynthia here, we can get Zatu Shrine and just hope to get heads. Nope. We do get an energy, though, for Spirit Tomb, which I like. The problem is he's going to set up a cross division here. This is kind of the scariest thing right now. I mean, I could actually just go for Future Sight, which, I mean, could at the very least guarantee me either Jirachi or a Cynthia, which wouldn't even be bad either, but I don't know. I think I just give up the ditto. Actually, we can give him the other Natu. He can't knock me out with uh, Outrage. We'll just we'll keep our we'll keep our energy for Spirit Tomb. Yeah, if I went into Ditto, you just Outrage me. That, was a, that would have been a dumb idea. There's a Welder. I am a little scared of him going for that Cross Division. That's gonna lose us the game. That stamp really hit me hard. That stamp really screwed me over here. 
He's got nine cards left. Holy, I didn't even realize he was so low on cards. What the heck? He's actually going to be low on welders, so it actually would be harder for him to get that SBD. Oh, he's getting rid of another stamp. That's totally fine. I kind of wish we could find room for our own Silvali. Maybe he can play Silvali instead of Ninetales. That's your stage one of choice. That wouldn't be bad. He's probably going to go into Heat Rain here, which would force us to Grey Catcher this. Oh, he's going to double custom. He's probably going to knock out Ninetales. No, he's actually going to bring in the Natu. And he's going to retreat, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's very low on cards. He has probably no way to get stuff back, so we could maybe see us... We could try to bring out the Silvali at some point. It's actually pretty possible we could deck him. He's actually just going to outrage me for 40. He bought me another turn. That's really good. That's not really good, though. That's not a good... I guess we can just play Future Sight here... Yeah, there's no... We're gonna lose the energy anyways. Oh, no! We're bricking! Hmm. I mean, we can get Jirachi. We have no way to go into it, though, unless we retreat Spirit Tomb. Yeah, this ain't looking good, folks. This is... Not looking good. I mean, do I want to give myself the Fion, maybe? No, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, if we can get Great Catcher, we could maybe buy it. We could maybe win by stalling the Silvali. I think we'll get the Shrine. The energy. Is that too no, at the very... No, we want to guarantee a Pokemon here. Yeah, we want to at least guarantee us a Pokemon. At least we can go Jirachi. This is not good. If he plays Lily, maybe he'll deck out by accident. He might deck out if he plays Lily here. We'll see. Disreloads for one. That is also going to help us. Are we going to win by deck out? We might win by deck out. If he plays as Lily, we win. And we win. Unless he plays Energy Recycle System Lawn Fishing Rod. No, did this guy actually just deck out? The only other way I could see him winning is cross division for 200, but there's no way. And that's game. Oh my gosh, what? That win barely counts as a win because he decked out. But at least we got our one knockout with Zatu, which is pretty cool. I like it. Zatu got a knockout. That's pretty cool. Sadly, my opponent probably just didn't realize he was so low on cards. I didn't even know he was that low on cards until I, I saw the nine cards left. Yeah, Mewtwo definitely is not the greatest matchup in the world. I mean, it's fine. I mean, because like the fact that, you know, tag team oriented. But SPDO is definitely a pain. It's annoying that he played custom catchers instead of great catcher. But we still came on top of the win because my opponent decked out. Though it didn't look like we were even going to win the game to begin with. Because of how unlucky we got. We can actually get a pack here, which we might as well open up for you guys. And uh, maybe pull some goodies. We'll see. Get a Cosmic Eclipse pack and, uh, you know, get some nice stuff. We're doing a lot of Expanded Tourneys trying to get Cosmic Eclipse packs. But, man, Expanded Tourneys drive me insane. Like, they're, they're you, you run into a lot of, like, bad decks. It's so, like, you can get very easy wins. But, oh my gosh, for some reason, it was just nothing but degenerate decks. We might get a good card here. Funny enough, we pulled a Zatu and a Reverse Fion, which are two cards in our deck. See you guys in the match. All right, guys, we're going to get into another game here with the deck. I realized we actually didn't put a Mew in the deck. I guess this is something you should run is at least one copy of Mew. But I forgot to put Mew in here. I don't really know what I would take out, though, in all honesty. Everything is pretty important. And it looks like we're playing against possibly ADP here, which is something I do want to see if we can take down ADP. Like, I think ADP is a pretty good match for us. Like, it's one of our better matchups. Despite, of course, Altered Creation, I still think this matchup is winnable. And, alright, we do actually get a pretty solid start, assuming we don't get a terrible Stellar Wish. We can get a Lily here. We have a pretty good hand. The Spirit Tomb is a great start, because it means we can get some building spites going. Like, we can use Spirit Tomb to take out Keldeo. With Shrine, we can do 170 on the dot. And we have the ADP counter with just an, uh, an easy attack. All right, so let's go for the Stellar Wish. There's that Lily I was talking about. Love to see it. We'll attach. 
get some spite built up. I could play the shrine, but I'm not going to because I don't want to. And alright. So we can treasure. I think we'll get rid of a spirit tomb. We probably don't need to. Actually, I mean, we do have this in play, don't we? We didn't get an energy, though. Where's that to? Hmm. I actually might prefer getting the uh, Marshadow, in all honesty. We already have the Zatu in our hand. Yeah, we should just guarantee the Marshadow. Yeah, I, did, I forgot we had Ditto in play. We'll just pass. We don't really need to do much else. He could drop a Fion on me, which I guess would be a little annoying. But, uh, I mean, it's okay. We can maybe start to swing with, with Spirit Tomb, put some pressure on. Now, if they get a turn one altered creation here, that would be pretty bad if they actually do get that. There's a Cynthia. They could get it. If they're playing Rayquaza, they could hit a turn one altered creation. That would not be ideal. And there's a treasure. Okay, so we can actually play the Viridian, which I do like. So, because I do want to actually play Viridian Forest here to get energy onto Ditto slash that too. We could even go in and use um, Creepy Wind if we really wanted to. That's not even that bad, to be honest. So we draw... Okay, top pick to Cynthia. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to get rid of one will. It is a little risky, but I need an energy here for Zatu. Uh, maybe we would have had a... Maybe I should save the hand. Because, like, technically we do have the guaranteed KO here next turn. I'm, I'm very tempted just to hold on to the hand. Let's see if we can maybe hit a Lily here. No, we do get a counter game though. Which I'll take. I oh, man, I really want to hold this hand. If the Viridian sticks, we can knock him out here. I'm actually, I'm going to hold the hand. We might as well. It's like, we have a Cynthia if we need to. Nah, we're not going to get knocked out either. The Dramp is annoying, but again, we can always knock it out with Spirit Tomb. Yeah, you know what? I think it's fine to just hold the hand. And resolve. If he does hit three energies, that would be very frustrating. Only one, and he loses two of his reset stamps. That is amazing. That's one of the things his deck suffers, as you saw in that game there, is reset stamp. But he's going to alter creation. And we'll get rid of one shrine. And this does guarantee that we actually will indeed kill this, um, this thing here. He probably doesn't expect the will either, which is kind of hilarious. He probably doesn't expect me to get knocked out. Can build in spite. Stellar wish. Uh, we'll take the Great Catcher. That's definitely going to come into our hand. If yeah, he benches another ADP, we win, probably. Um, yeah, that's game. Or not game, sorry. It's not game. We don't win. But we are able to put the Shrine in play. And we're going to play the Will. And Life Drain. Nice. Alright, we got a pretty quick Zatu there. We didn't even get, like, we did not even need to get knocked out. And we have Spirit Tomb ready to go, too. This is looking pretty good. And we get three prizes. The fact that he lost three reset stamps off of End Resolve makes me feel pretty confident. But as you can see, this is what Zatu aims to do. It aims to take out Tag Team Pokemon. It is the Tag Team Destroyer right now. But, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to play and build a good deck around, as you can see. But we have the option to attack with Spirit Tomb. So yeah, it's going to be pretty hard for my opponent to win. He's not going to kill me here either with Dragon Claw. He's only doing 50 damage. I really want him just to bench another ADP so I can just Great Catcher. He knows I have the Great Catcher, though, because I still have wished for it. But, uh, we'll see. If he doesn't bench anything, either, we just straight up win here with Spirit Tomb. Oh, he's gonna Treasure. If he gets ADP here, we should win the game. He actually gets rid of a Jirachi? That's very questionable. I guess he has a Dedenne in his hand. He's gonna enter Resolve. How much Retreat does his Drampa have? One? Okay, he does hit two energy, so if he has a metal in his hand, he is going to knock me out. Okay, he actually did have the metal. Wow. That is pretty frustrating. But, it's not the end of the world. We just got to get one more Zach to him play, and we're Gucci. I just need one Zach to. We can uh, kind of swing the spirit to him. But I guess, he is building this thing up, but we can hold the hand. It is still like a decent hand. Let's see where we go from here. I honestly wasn't expecting him to get a knockout there, not gonna lie. He's gonna have a three card hand, so we gotta pray he doesn't have a Dedenne or anything. Or a Cynthia. There's a Marshadow. 
We can play this and actually get ourselves a Natu. Do need a double down here. We'll sell our wish. That's a really good card to get. So we can play this. Get, we'll have to get rid of the treasure because we need the shrine in case of a chaotic swell. We'll get ourselves the will back. Drop three. We got the Zatu! Holy cow, that is really good. So as long as we don't get stamped here, but the fact that he already lost two makes me seem like he's not going to get it. We actually should win here if he doesn't stamp me. We actually win the game if he doesn't reset stamp me here, because we also got the energy off of the uh, Caitlyn and Cynthia. To be fair, this thing can get knocked out too if he doesn't Malolana. It doesn't matter if he does, because we can, I mean, we can always win with Spiritomb, but like the point is we want to win with Life Drain. So as long as we don't get stamped, we have game. And he's down two stamps. He only has a three-card hand. I'm pretty pretty sure he won't find a stamp. Though I know I just jinxed myself. There's that Malolana. That is perfectly fine. He has a dead hand. What did he discard? Pokecom. So he didn't even have a way to get it to Dene. So yeah, this is game. This is game. I mean, this came kind of close. He was It was down to him getting one more knockout, but... The deck is so busted, Caitlyn and Cynthia quite literally gave me everything I needed to win. But yeah, we're going to actually win here once again, not by deck out, but by Zatu being Zatu. Which is pretty cool. We're going to will, guarantee the heads, and life drain. That's game. All right, cool. So there is some Zatu action for you guys. Yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video here, these two games. Again, this deck, it's not like competitive, competitive. It's more of a meme. Um, obviously, it's more of a meme because, you know, it's Zatu. It's not going to, like, this deck isn't going to take down Malamar. You know, you're not really going to beat stuff like Quagnag either, I don't think. Really, you're just trying to see decks like that where they have tag team Pokemon. That's quite literally the whole purpose of the deck um, I'm definitely going to try out that Zatu Naginadal archetype, though, that I was thinking of. That could be a really interesting video for a crazy combo deck. I don't think the deck will be, like, the BDIF, but, like, I think... I do think that Zatu Naginadal could be a really cool video. So I think I'll make a video on Zatu once again down at the road. Zatu and Expand, it could be really cool with Dimension Valley and Hypnotoxic Laser. Um, and Victini. That was a terrible pack. Um, but yeah, that'll have the video on the Zatu deck. I mean, the list actually didn't even do that bad. I don't know if I would really take anything out. Uh, I guess, like, we could cut one more shadow because we didn't use it. Even against ADP, they didn't even get a Chaotic Swell the entire game because they just weren't really drawing that well, I guess, with their supporters. Um, I don't know what I would take out. Like, I I, I guess, like, a third will. Yeah, I guess you don't need four will. I guess, I guess you should run a Hustle Belt then for Spirit. I don't know. There's so many options to run in this deck. I think we should try to add a Mew. I mean, other than that, though, the deck played pretty well. The Nine Tails came in handy, which is pretty cool. So we got to show that off. But yeah, this is my Zatu list here. If you're looking to take out tag teams, try this deck out and see if you do. Well, I guess we should take out the reset. It really did nothing for us. I guess we can go like reset. Go like four treasures maybe. I don't know. Like re we can play like reset for Lily. I don't know. But um, yeah, let's get wrap up the video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below to help me the road to reaching 7,000 subscribers. Um, or 6,100 subscribers. It does feel really good to say that now. And of course, make sure to check out our sponsor, Cargamon TCG, as always. Use code LDF if you get anything from there. And also, make sure to follow me on Twitter down below, too, to stay up to date with all my tweets. And I'll see you guys on another PCO video. Bye-bye.